Annette Wake. Uh, thank you, President. Um, I rise to speak on the, uh, on the Upper Yarra Valley and Dandenong Ranges Regional Strategy Plan Amendment. The Upper Yarra and Dandenong Ranges are both very unique parts of the world. They are both breathtakingly beautiful areas despite being vastly different. Part of the magic of living in the Yarra Ranges comes from the fact that you can be out amongst the rolling hills at one point and a few turns later you find yourself in the midst of the uh, lush, ferny forests of the Dandenongs. Uh, for those of us who live there, and I know Ms Shing also lives up there too, we are truly lucky and we do have the best of both worlds. Now, I know from my time as a councillor on Yarra Rangers Council that local government work incredibly hard to get the balance right between managing green wedge and other areas of significance with the need to create modern, liveable communities. The regional strategy plan that we are speaking about today is something that has been in place since 1982 and it is all about protecting the landscape in a way that still allows for urban development. Yarra Rangers Council opted to review its planning scheme and this was conducted by an independent planning panel in late 2018. The recommendations of that review were considered by the Yarra Rangers Council at a meeting in March 2019. Council has resolved to adopt the amendment after receiving consultations and considering community submissions. The amendment was then sent to the Minister for approval, which is why we are seeking this amendment before us today. This is because any amendments to the planning scheme require consequ consequential amendments to the Upper Yarra Valley and Dandenong Ranges Regional Strategy Plan. Um, there are numerous other changes here, but at its core, this amendment has been introduced uh, because Council required an update to its planning scheme. This is because Council have new and updated planning strategies that are not adequately reflected in the current scheme. Experience in dealing with the current planning scheme has re revealed some aspects were difficult and confusing for the public, such as inconsistent wording and also uh, double ups. Now, um, considering this was discussed by Council in 2019, these changes have been a long time coming. Uh, planning rules should now be a lot clearer and regulations will now allow decisions to be progressed much faster, also ensuring better protections. This will allow my Yarra Rangers constituents the freedom to get on with their lives and business. Now, it is good to see the update of the regional strategy to be consistent with the planning scheme, particularly in the areas of green wedge zones. Green wedge zones are a product of forward-thinking uh, forward by past Liberal MP and Premier Rupert Hamer. He said that the future planning of Melbourne should take account of the surrounding countryside as a vital part of the metropolitan environment. And he could not have been more right. We do need to counter the urban sprawl and protect vital parts of our landscape. And I know that Yarra Rangers Council are committed to getting that balance right with the urban growth boundary. I think it is important that policy is consi consistently updated to match current circumstances. This policy must continue to be firmly adhered to alongside common sense so we can maintain these green wedge areas for our future generations. Our future generations too should be able to enjoy the balance of city and country whilst preserving and protecting our green wedges and areas of significance.